Hello friends, it's Cindy Brumbaugh from CindyLeeBDesigns.com, independent stamping up demonstrator. Today I have a few little tricks that I did on this card. Some things you may already know, but just a good review here. We're going to use the Let's Set Sail bundle, and it's a punch bundle that has the sailboat builder punch, and it's in the new January through June 20. 22 um, mini catalog and I just love this. I just love boats. I just love the whole look of it. I like that it has like a sketchy um, surface to the images and so we're going to do a few little things on here. I love making clouds and a lot of you guys would know how to make those but I'm just giving you a quick little tip here. Okay so what we're going to do is use those amazing basics borders dies. If there is one die set in the catalog that is worth every penny and over, over, and over, it's this one. One, two, three, four, five, six border dies in there. Really amazing. We're going to use this cloud one here. And what I did is I just cut myself out a template with some sticky um a piece of sticky but you could use computer paper whatever you want I put a little bit of glue on the back and let it dry so that it will be tacky and then we're just going to sponge on some clouds and my piece of white here is three and a quarter by four inches three and a quarter by four inches and I'm just going to use this template but I just realized before we do that we want to get our bases here I did kind of like sand here and then some uh, lake, ocean, it could be anything. So before we do that sponging, we are just going to do that. So we're going to use this really cool big long die there, and we're going to do the sand at the bottom. I'm just using crumb cake. So I'm going to ink up my big long die. It is a long one. So if you were doing it across a landscape card, you could put a couple different sailboats. So I'm just gonna put that right down towards the bottom. I'm gonna do it this way, I think, yes. It has more of a flat surface here. So I'm gonna do that right at the bottom, covering up the edge of the bottom of the basic white. So there is our sand. Then we're going to get that cleaned off using our chamois. Woo, I hope that didn't get you too dizzy. Then we're gonna use balmy blue and we're going to open up, make sure it's totally flat, slide it back. Then we're going to do some inking of balmy blue. Okay, and then we're gonna put our balmy blue. I think I'll do that same thing and just kind of get that blue in there, okay? And the ink is going to look really dark, but it will dry a lot lighter. So there we go. And now I messed up my pretty piece, but that piece was to be the piece I was gonna do my sponging on anyhow. So now you can see I have the two layers of land and water. So then I'm gonna take my ocean um, on top of my ocean or lake and I'm gonna put my clouds now the the clouds it's the edge of the clouds that creates the illusion there so wherever you um, begin it you're gonna have the white so I'm just going to put that on there I'm gonna be using my balmy blue and oh my gosh where did I put my okay I will show you Stamping Up has these amazing blending brushes here. It just happens to be before we carried them, I had these um, generic ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this one because I always use it for blue. But oh, these are amazing, especially because they have a nice wide surface on them. And you get three of them in a pack in the annual catalog, the blending brushes, but I'm just using one I had from a long time ago. So I'm getting some blue, I'm rubbing off a little on the side because I don't wanna get a blob. And I'm really concentrating on that edge. Okay, there we go. That's our first layer. Is that amazing or what? <laughs> so now my friend Lynn is very good at making her uh, landscapes with clouds. <laughs> so I'm gonna get a little more ink, take a little off, and then I'm gonna do some more. And this is kind of where a little less is best here. Okay, 
there we go we have another layer there now we just kind of want to change it up let's put maybe let's put one more layer and I'm going to do it this over here this is a nice long die so it will go across your whole card if you're doing landscape which is nice and then you can like move it around get a little more ink there do a little sponging off I like how forgiving this is because even if I jumped it there it just looks like part of the clouds okay so there we are we have our three layers there of some and I could have varied it a little bit, you know, but it still looks great because we're going to be putting our sailboat on there. And that's where I'm going to have a pretty cool trick to show you. Close those ink pads because as you found out on my heart wedding card the other day, I had a ink pad disaster. Okay, so we're going to have our little palette here that we're going to work with. See a little paper edge there. Um, okay, so now we're going to work on the sailboat. Now, you're thinking, oh, wow, I could just stamp this whole thing at one time, or you're going to, do you ever have to try to just do one piece and you're putting the paper in and you, oh, it's crazy. So I'm going to show you a quick little trick that I do. Now, I just took my punch, okay, now which way did I do it here? I just took my punch, put it in a piece of white paper and I punched out the negative, okay? So the next thing I'm gonna do is take that negative. I'm gonna put a piece of dark paper behind it, you know, like brown or black or um, navy or something. But I actually wanna show you this little trick. Before. I'm like getting ahead of myself here. Um, what I'm saying is look at the way these are on here. We've got our, and why don't I just go ahead and show you this will make things go so much quicker. Now you're thinking, how did I know where to put these? Okay, so look at those stamped images and look how this fits over it and you can punch it all at one time. Well, to be able to do that, all you have to do is do that negative, put it off and yes, I'm gonna do it right here on camera. We're gonna pretend that these were just coming out of our stamp set, okay? All right, so you have that piece of paper here. You're gonna take each one of these stamps and because you have the black behind the white, you can kind of see, oh, another trick I did too is I put a tiny bit of tape so that my white would not so that my white would not move on me. So I take each one of these with the stamped portion down, the part that's gonna go onto your paper. And then you slip that in there and hopefully you'll be able to see that there's a little black edge the whole way around my stamped image. It sticks to your, and you know, sometimes you have to do it more than one time just to get it right. Okay. And it's really hard to do whenever you're doing a video in a different orientation. Okay, so there's one stamp. Then we have this other sail here. We do the same thing. And that's why putting the piece of tape down on your black is really helpful because it keeps the paper from moving. And the photopolymers are nice because they're sticking to this paper here. And then we'll take the sailboat and do the same thing really paying attention to the little flag at the top. It also, you know, can double as a golf flag. Okay, so you wanna make sure you got a black on each side of that long, thin, and then I have a little black around the whole bottom of the boat. And I might pull this just a little bit that way. Looks pretty good to me. Okay, so now these are all sitting onto the paper as if you were stamping them down. Then you simply take an acrylic block, put it onto your paper, lift that, and now you have the exact way that you would punch. And then we're just gonna move our template off and we, I'm gonna show you how easy this is to do. And you can actually 
save this template because it's not like when you're using a Stamparatus and it only, this is always gonna punch that way. Okay, so the next thing you would do is, watch how cool this is. And this is like nice because you could um, stamp a whole bunch of reds, a whole bunch of browns, a whole bunch of yellows and mix and match all the colors of your boat. Like maybe you want a red sailboat. But the other thing is you wanna look at the way your punch is gonna punch. Now, if your punch is gonna come in here and you wanna punch this way, then make sure you're stamping to match the same way. Notice this, like this is the way it's gonna punch, so that's the way I'm going to do it. So I'm looking at the punch and I am stamping in the same direction. Now, right now, I'm just using the Poppy Parade, okay? And we'll just put that there. And now watch how magical this is. You just put that in and you can stand, you can punch all three of them. And the nice thing about our punches is right when you think you have it ready to punch, just gently push down and hold it in place for you. It's almost like it doesn't cut through. You just kind of hold it there and then we're gonna punch. And we have a red boat and two red sails. Now, let's not stop there. Ha, another template. Let's do another color, okay? Clean off our photopolymer. And then we're going to do, that was Poppy Parade. We're going to do Daffodil Delight because that is the way my boat was. Let's see if I can put that in there. Okay, so now we're just going to stamp in daffodil. And once again, take a look at your punch before you stamp. Remember, your punch is going to go in the same direction. So we're going to do yellow, daffodil delight. We're gonna clean this off, and then we're gonna throw yet another one and this one we're going to do our boat and our boat is soft suede because I wanted it to be a little darker than the sand or the ground the uh, beach okay and once again I'm looking to stamp the same way my punch goes just saves me a lot of trimming and m messing around now this soft suede is going to definitely um, dry lighter look at the difference here in the colors I stamped this right before we I started the video and this is immediately doing it there so it does dry lighter and then I just can come back here put my punch in line up all those images notice they all work perfectly I tend to focus on that little boat in the inside now I don't want to take any of these stamps off this block oh too bad uh, I couldn't just stick them in a, the old wood block cases and then it'll be permanently adhered to my block. But then of course, if I wanna do a freestanding boat, I can't do it that way. But this is nice to get all of the pieces that you need. Um, you know, and you can do this with any punch that has this. So first time I ever did this was with our snowman punch and I wanted to do a whole bunch at one time. But anytime you have a punch, if it's the, you know, any punch that has little pieces in it, if you do that technique where you just put down the stamped image and put a piece. Now, of course, this is a lot easy with photopolymers, but it can be done with um, red rubber. I'll just have to figure out a way to show you how to do that. But you then put your stamps right in place and then put your acrylic block and pick them up and you'll have a... Uh, a lot easier way of getting a bunch of things done at one time. Like think about how you could then mix and match. Like maybe you want to do it. Maybe you want to do that. Maybe you want to do a red with brown and yellow. So you can just make any type of one you want. But of course, I decided to do the poppy and the daffodil, okay? So there we go, poppy and daffodil. So let's go back to our card here. Since um, the white that we did was 
three and a quarter by four. I just wanted, I could have did a big border on it and actually see, I could do something like that. I could make it look like that. I love the fact that you can do different types of, well, should I do it kids? Should I maybe get that and do a border? Like you could make it flush at the bottom and just have a border on this side. That's a di different way you could do it. You could actually make a bigger border and you could have it come a little bit on his side. But what I did is I just went um, an eighth of an inch bigger, or no, actually um, it would be, yeah, an eighth of an inch. So that means this was three and three quarters. So this is three and three eighths. This was four, so this is four and an eighth, okay? So we're just going to go ahead and pop that on. Our, oh no, we're not going to do that yet. We have to stamp. We have to do a little more stamping, Cindy. Okay, so I wanted to use a pretty little birds, but I also wanted to try a different sentiment on here. And I decided to go ahead and just use the balmy blue and stamp directly on the clouds. So hope it's your best day ever. Great birthday card. This could be right here, the graduation card, because you know in January we're already thinking of the June graduations. So I'm going to put let your dream set sail up there at the top. Hold it just a tad bit of time there so we get a good image there. Okay, then we want to put some little uh, birds over here, but let's put our boat on first. So our boat, I'm going to do a little bit of Tombow here. And put our boat on. Just gonna put make sure you don't put him in the sand make sure he goes in the water <laughs> there we go okie doke and then we are going to be putting these on but before we put our sails on we're going to go ahead and put our birds in there okay and the birds just make sure your birds are going in little v's and i went ahead and used uh, memento black for that so stamp those little tiny birds and I know they're going to go somewhere up around here those little guys wiggle memento black hmm do I just want one set let's see here is that going to be because I'm going to put them there do I want to detract from this put too much I think hmm do I want to we can go ahead and stick that other set on there okay stamping on the fly just pop another set of birds there okay put that aside and see what I did is I got a little bit of black on that because I was, I took these off, darn. Well, that's a good lesson for us to learn, not to have those. That's why you don't put the sails on first. <laughs> okay, that's par for the course for today. I got up early to make videos and literally the hubby decides to make it his day to sleep in and I've been tiptoeing around because no matter what you do, if you just sneeze, you can hear it <laughs> from my stamping room. Okay, so let's put on this um, yellow sail here. Okay, oh, maybe I can cover it up somewhat. No, that won't work. There we go, our yellow sail. And now we're going to put on our poppy sail. Poppy parade. I love poppy parade. It's just such a light, nice bright red. I wish I could cover that up. <laughs> but it's not going to happen. Okay. We want to have that. There. Maybe nobody will notice, huh? <laughs> okay, let's just pop this on here. And I have to tell you, I don't have the inside designed yet. Why do I not have the inside designed yet? Because when I made the card, I wanted to put, I wanted to put some, uh, the sailboat in the inside, but I already had them mounted and I wasn't gonna move those babies. 
Okay, so you'll have to tune into my blog, cindyleebdesigns.com. Right underneath the YouTube description, you'll see visit my blog here and a link. Press the link. It takes you right over to cindyleebdesigns.com. I have the measurements, all the products I use, but you can also find the measurements underneath the YouTube description. So what I would suggest you do is go over there after you watch this video and see what I come up with on the inside. I'm thinking maybe some clouds would be in order. This is where I'm going to use up some of my edges. I have a bunch of edges laying around because I want to pop that up. So let's see here. And then I have a brand new one here. Oh, it's like opening up a Christmas present, getting into those brand new dimensionals, huh? But don't ever throw away all those edges. Sometimes you just, sometimes a class I just say, it's time to use up the leftovers, everybody. Let's just put them all on there. Another great thing to do is take fun foam, all that, you know, fun foam, and cut almost as the same size, and it's going to pop the entire thing up. And it's very economical as well and not as tedious as putting a bunch of dimensionals on there. Okay, so now we're going to just put that, hopefully, yeah, that's one thing, whenever you do this, when you put a lot of dimensionals, if you're crooked, you're like bummed out. Okay, so there we go. Isn't that pretty? So easy to do, making some clouds using that die that's in the basic borders and just creating a little template to sponge around and then you just easily use the big image here that's in the in the stamp set let's set sail so even though you might have some nautical and sail ones this is really cute for because this boat is adorable and then just use that little technique that i showed you of just punching out your image from your punch so all you all i did was i punched out well i did it this way right which way did I do it? There we go. So I punched out and made my negative. Then I put it down on a piece of black paper. I took each one of these stamps. I turned them to so that the stamped image that would go on the paper goes down first. And I just laid each one of them in there. See, I just laid them in there. And then I took my acrylic block and picked them all up at one time. And by picking them all up at one time, every time I stamp these stamps, they will, like if I don't move them, I can just go in and punch multiples of every single one. So it really makes making quick cards really easy to do. So use that tip for any one of your punches that has like a couple different images on it. So there you go, two different cards. Let your dreams set sail. That's a great graduation card coming up. Hope it's your best day ever. That is perfect for Father's Day. Happy birthday, masculine, which we always need. So take a look at that. Let's set sail with the Sail Builder Punch in the new mini January through June 2022 mini catalog. Thanks for buzzing by, friends.